<laughs> oh, all in one! Hey scientists, today I'm reviewing another KiwiCo Tinker Crate kit, the Arcade Catapult. It cost me $26 because I have a six month subscription. Right, let's open up and take a look. Inside the blueprint, which is essential for assembling the OK catapult together. The Tinker Zine. If you guys have seen my KiwiCo Tinker Crate videos before, you know how much I love the Tinker Zine. It always has really cool information about the kit you're assembling, and then further links in case your curiosity has peaked and you want to investigate a bit further. The magazine this week has information about a real life museum you can go and visit if you live in San Francisco or are going on holiday there. Environmentally, the Tinker Crate kits are usually quite good. They minimize plastic parts, using them only when they're essential. And as you can see, this one has quite a bit of cardboard and wood parts. This looks like a scorecard for when you're playing the game later and you can tally up to see who's winning. The first step is to build the game board itself. I'm gonna get started building that right now. First steps completed, which is assembling the arcade board. It actually goes together really well with a mixture of cardboard and foam pieces and wooden pieces. It's pretty solid and looks pretty professional. I'm impressed. Next step is to build the catapult. I'm getting right stuck in now to build this catapult. Okay, I finished making the catapult now. It's quite a simple mechanism as you can see, and it's not as ferocious as the Leonardo da Vinci catapult we made, but I think this could still be good fun. Let's give it a go. Right, in this game, we've got to try and shoot the balls from the catapult into the holes on here. So let's give it a go. We'll do a top down view so you can see what's happening. And I read! This game seems quite easy. Oh no, okay, let's try and get an orange one. I think I spoke too soon, it's not as easy as I thought. Oh, close. Ah, actually, the smaller holes in the middle are much harder to get. I'm going to give it another go. Yes! Now let's try for the green. Mm -mm. Got another orange. <laughs> oh, all in one! This green is proving quite tricky. Let's give it one more go. Too much. Not enough. Yay! Another hole in one in the green, the hardest hole. Hey, if you're enjoying my over excitement playing this game, please make sure to hit like on the video and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you're watching. It really helps the channel grow. Um, I think you saw that I got a bit excited playing this game. <laughs> it looks like quite a simple game. It's very easy to assemble. It took me about half an hour to build and I think it's probably suitable for the youngest of scientists because it's a little bit fiddly not mega fiddly, but then also provides quite a lot of fun. The balls are definitely gonna get lost, but I think you could probably replace them with anything. It teaches you quite a bit with uh, potential energy, elastic bands and catapults and gravity and the paths the ball take and the fact that smaller holes are harder to get into than larger holes. All of this is really good learning material. I am gonna give the KiwiCo Tinker Crate Arcade Catapult three stars for fun Three stars for price. And...
and three stars for learning. Buy or buy. -bye. It is 100% a buy. If you've enjoyed this kit, I have an affiliate link in the description. Please click it if you intend to buy this kit. Every time you click and buy, it really helps the channel grow. If you haven't seen it yet, check out this other Tinker Crate KiwiCo kit I tried that makes a color blending crystal. 